this snippet of section 5 is very brief, but important. We're going to talk a little bit about the value of experience and learning on the job, citing the most famous economists of the 20th century. So, Kenneth Arrow, as I said, was one of the greatest economists of the 20th century, said, learning is the product of experience. Now, this is from an article published in 1962, The Economic Implications of Learning by Doing. I said he's written a lot about uncertainty, about labour, about knowledge, education. And he said, one empirical generalisation is so clear that all schools of thought must accept it, although they interpret it in different fashions. Learning is a product of experience. And it can only take place through the attempt to solve a problem and therefore only takes place during activity. Important. What next? You're trying to solve a problem and activity. Go back to what we said in earlier on about the lead user approach, about the meta-national strategic agility and Porpoise's diamond model, where someone is facing a problem in an extreme fashion, there you'll find someone trying to solve it. It's a strong motivator to experiment, to learn and to deal with the situation. And you learn by doing. Often you learn more by mistakes because you know what won't work and then you'll go on and do something else. It's important to have a lifetime learning approach. This remains consistent with the DIG approach. Remember, we're talking about continuous refining. The first situation won't be the best. Might be a rough, just like, <laughs> might be a rough draft, just like when we were writing papers. But you refine it, you refine it. So lifetime learning is important. And if you're not learning, you are going backwards because everyone else is, and everyone else is innovating. So we have different types of learning from experience. First is Standard education, formal, informal, non-formal, so formal is the classes, uh, or workshops, or just working the job. There's entrepreneurship type of lifetime learning. For example, it comes through, again, experience, education, but in particular, entrepreneurial experience. Because that's a bit different. Being in a small firm or in a startup is very different from being in a large established organisation. However, very, very, very important. Learn from your customers. That was one of the items we came across in the uh, discovery model in the beginning of this program. Learn the deep motivations, learn the deep interests, and in particular, learn what they want, what they know, and what they know more than you and better than you. Important. Yes, you must review the methods of discovery and see how that can be useful to develop knowledge over the long term.